Today, we're going to continue talking about objects inside JavaScript. And in the previous episode, we talked about how we could actually create an object, which is basically just a variable that has different properties inside of it, and how we could actually create these properties and then afterwards write it out inside the browser. Okay, so we have a variable up here called person, which is the object name. And then we have the different properties such as first name, last name, age, and hair color. Now the way we write that out inside the browser, just to recap it for you guys, is by writing the object name and then followed by a punctuation and then the property. So in this episode, we're going to talk about how we can create methods inside an object. And a method is basically just a function that's inside an object, for example, person up here. Now, what that means is that let's say I want to write out the full name of this person here. But instead of having to, let's actually go ahead and comment or remove the comment from this document right down here. Instead of saying person dot first name, we're going to say person dot first name plus double quotes space plus person dot last name, which would essentially give me the person's first name followed by a space and then the person's last name. So if I were to refresh the browser, you guys can see it says Daniel Nelson. But this is too much code to write. What if we could make this more simple by creating a method inside variable person, which means that we only have to create this method once. And then we can just simply, you know, write out the method that we have inside the object. So if I were to go into my object up here and say, well, we're going to add one more thing or one more property inside this object or one more method because it is a method. We're going to say comma, next line. And then we're going to go ahead and create the name of this method. So I'm going to go ahead and say full name. Then we're going to say colon space function parentheses curly brackets. So right now we just created a very basic function inside our object. And before we actually wrote function, we just gave it a name as full name, and then we said colon, just like we did in the previous properties. Do bear in mind, I didn't give the function a name, so we didn't actually say, you know, uh, full name in here as a function name, because we already defined that right here in the beginning. So inside here, I can go ahead and create some kind of value or some kind of, you know, function in JavaScript. So if I were to go in here and say we have this object's first name and last name, and I want to write them out next to each other, I could actually go ahead and document dot write parentheses. Then I'm going to go ahead and refer to the object that, or the property inside this object called first name. And because we're already inside the object, we can actually point one step up to the object we're inside of by writing this. This basically means we're referring to this object we're inside of. Okay, we can also, if you want to, just write person, but since this is shorter, I'm gonna write this. Punctuation, and then we're gonna say first name. So if I were to actually go ahead and refer to this method inside my object, it would actually write out the first name of this object. So if I were to go in and just copy what we have down here, you know, the plus space, plus and then add this last name. It does exactly the same thing as what we do down here. But because I wrote this inside the object, if I want to ever access this, let's say I have multiple places inside a website, I want to access the full name of this person or this object, I only need to write a very short piece of code to access it. So what I can do is I can just go ahead and write out a person punctuation, full name, parentheses, because it is a method, it's not an, a property. So we need to write the parentheses afterwards. And let's actually go ahead and check the browser. I refresh and it says exactly the same thing. Now, if I were to actually go in and delete the last name, just to show you guys, it only comes up with the last name. So this is a pretty cool way of doing this. So we only have to write the code once inside our website. And this is one of the really cool things about objects because we write all these different information and you know values, but we only need to write a small piece of code once to refer to the values that we have in one place. So we don't have to write the same values multiple places inside the website. So let's say I want to change the name of Daniel to Steven. 
then I just need to change it one place. And because I'm referring to this object inside my website, it automatically changes the object everywhere inside the website, which is kind of cool. Now, just one more thing, because I know some coders have a habit of, you know, doing it this way that I'm doing it right here, where I'm actually document writing inside my function. Uh, I just want to point out that this does work, you know, actually document writing inside a function to get this written out inside the browser like this. Um, but the preferred way of a lot of coders is actually by returning the value instead. Now we haven't actually talked about returning. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete some of this we have here. So now I just basically remove the document right and the parentheses that went around everything. So instead I'm going to go ahead and write return space and then it returns all this information here. Do bear in mind, I still have the semicolon at the end here. Now, if I were to save this because I'm returning the value, it's just going to return it, but it's not going to, you know, output it inside the browser. So even though I refer to this method in here, if I go refresh, you guys can see there's nothing. So this is actually where I will go down and say documents dot write parentheses semicolon and take this reference to our uh, method and put it inside our document write like so. Now, if I refresh, you guys can see we get the full thing out inside the browser. So this is how we can create functions or methods like they're called technically inside an object. And of course, this is a very basic example. We could also write something first if we wanted to. We could actually create a string that says the person's name is, then we want to make sure we actually have a plus the name of this person. So if I go ahead and refresh, you guys can see it says the person's name is Daniel Nelson. Okay. Again, very simple example. You can do very complicated things with these sort of information. Right now we're just using a person as an example for the object, but you can do very complicated calculations with this, let's say a shopping cart inside a website where you have different, you know, mathematical equations that need to run in order to calculate the total amount for the cart. Then you could use something like an object to, to figure this out. So like I said, in the future, we'll be doing a lot of different objects uh, because we will be using it for more advanced stuff in JavaScript. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this wasn't too confusing or too overwhelming because like I said, it is something we will be using. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.